party people. Hey. Here with Alvin Boot Camp. Hey. Welcome back to New York City, everybody. I'm Coach Todd. Um, I am on a hopeless hunt for grammatical Oreos today. I didn't find them. That's Coach Cole. Brooklyn's hanging out here in the corner. You're back for another outfit boot camp workout. Today is going to be a 40 minute one weight workout. So you're either going to be using a dumbbell or you're going to be using a kettlebell. Coach Cole will have that dumbbell. I'll be using the kettlebell throughout the workout. We're going to start with a strength portion. It takes about 10 to 12 minutes. We'll take a quick break and then we'll transition into an 18 minute conditioning piece. Um, if you're into this, we have two other formats that we post every week. That's a, there's a 20 minute body weight workout as well as a 10 minute abs, abs, abs. So new workouts every week. Do me a favor, please. If you think you're going to be into this, like the video and then subscribe to the channel. It makes a huge difference. It makes a huge difference for us. So appreciate it in advance. Um, Coach Cole is going to get us going with a warm up in just a minute or so. Uh, just real quick, I want you to notice that Coach Cole and both myself, we're indoor and we're working out and we're not wearing masks and we're only doing it for the purpose of this video. We, started, we still are in the middle of the pandemic. We still have a bit ways to go until life returns back to normal and keeping everyone safe is a team sport. Uh, so we just ask that you do your part by wearing a mask and trust that we do outside of these videos that we make. And with that being said, Coach Cole, let's get this party started. All right, 50 jumping jacks to begin today. Hop the feet out, hop the back in. We're gonna count up to 50. 50? 50, oh, it's gonna take you years. That's the biggest set we've ever done. Well, don't tell me. Are you counting? I'm on 18, 19, 20. <laughs> Once, yes I am. <laughs> I never count. 30, look at that. We're already close to 50. Our rates have been up a little bit. 40. We're gonna hit six inchworms, so I need hands on the floor. Walk it out to a nice high plank. Push up from those feet or the knees if you need. Walk it back in. Roll it on up. Do it five more times. So this is the uh, boot camp after our Valentine's Day workout. It is still pretty Valentine's Day. For us, it's pre Valentine's Day. For the people watching it, it's already happened. And I'm sad post Valentine's Day depression. We're doing a whole other year. I think that's called a sugar crash. <laughs> I don't think that's called sad. It's just probably a crash. Me crashing the tree. You did six that fast? I think I did. Yeah. I'm sticking to it. All right, we're going to do a little new movement for the warm up today. We're going to combine air squats and Todd's favorite warm up movement. So, what's going to happen? Our feet are going to be lower squat. We're going to go all the way down. When you come up, you're going to tap your right arm. To your left toes, back in the squat. Left arm to right foot. Squat, tap, squat, tap. We're doing 20 on each side. Alright. <laughs> That's not so bad. There's, That's no, not so bad. That, there's no arm swing. There's no arm swing. It's the arm swing that causes problems for me. So that kick up is all we're doing. Come on, 10. Back I'm halfway there. Do these have a name? Um, no. Coach Cole's squat kicks. I didn't, these they were not mine, I took them from somebody else. Who? No idea. That's then they're yours now. <laughs> they're mine now. <laughs> Coach Cole's squat kicks. How many more we got? I got five more. Alright. Surprisingly into this actually. Actually, yeah, I like these. I'm glad it's gonna work, work out someday. I'm glad you invented them. We'll do some jumping jack coach out next time. Cool, we're actually gonna do 30 butt kicks to finish off today. I want a little bit more hopping. Kick yourself in the butt. Two, three, four. Right on up. Right on there. How's the new apartment? Not so bad. I'm still waiting on some furniture. So. It's nice to have a, a, a normal kitchen table. Again, um, we can rest it out. Grab a quick drink. I will talk about the strength today in about 30 to 40 seconds. Again, if you need to grab your dumbbell or kettlebell, go ahead and do so. I will say, I'm going to a new apartment. Um, I prefer scolding hot showers. Like, I like to be burned. 
Yeah. And my shower doesn't quite get like skin burning hot, mm -hmm. even when I turn it all the way. Like it's still plenty warm. Right. Which I don't think for most people is a big deal, but for me, like I want it to be able to like. Is it a you adjust both, or is it's it just a one handle thing? So I'm, I'm thinking I could actually make it go hotter. So I have, a, I have that also in my shower, and when I turn it all the way, it also is not very hot. Yeah. And I also like a hot shower, uh, a scalding hot shower. Uh, I usually like to ease into it, not right away, but while counterintuitive to me, I can find the zone when I start pulling back towards the middle, where it's actually much, much harder. Oh, interesting. So I would try just kind of playing with it, like pulling it back, yeah, and I can see if it's something. I went on Reddit, and some people were like, you can get switches put on, and if it needs to go farther, we have to go on. Right, it's preset on, on the back, but it's also worth playing with. Okay. There you go, um, that's your home improvement tip of the day. Today, time for some fitness. Uh, we're gonna do some fitness now. Our strength today is going to be every two minutes. We have three different movements. We're gonna go for six rounds. Cool, so it'll take us 12 minutes and then we'll move on to our breathing later. Your first movement is going to be 16 seated strict press. All right. So, let's talk about a seated strict press. It's gonna force you to use nothing but that upper body. Todd is gonna sit down. His legs are going to be straight out in front of him as they are. He's going to make sure that his belly button is pushing towards his toes for me. Cool? Yeah, cool. What happens if Todd relaxes his belly button? Yeah, that. We don't want that to happen. Just keep that belly button going right towards those toes. You can grab that kettlebell or dumbbell, stick it in one of your front racks or both the right side. And you're gonna keep that belly button pushed forward. You're gonna strict press right, straight up over your shoulder, back down for eight on one side. It's gonna be like four. And then obviously you will switch and do eight on the other side. Cool. After your 16th seated strict press, you're gonna stay on the ground. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. There's 16 weighted glute bridges. So you're gonna lie back on the floor. Heels are gonna be nice and flat. Dumbbell or kettlebell is right on those hips. You're gonna hang on to it. You're gonna squeeze your butt, pinch your penny all the way up to the sky. Hold for just a second and light tap on the floor afterwards. Well, again, you're gonna do 16, right up, right down, trying not to completely rest on the floor during that 16. Then I'll see where he is. Our whole strength is on the floor today. You're welcome. What? Um, he's going to do 32 sit-ups, so if you touch the ground behind his head and touch right in front of his toes so he's sat all the way up. Make note that I don't expect any of us to be able to finish 32 sit-ups today during this complex. Challenge accepted. You do let me know, it's a lot of sit-ups to do in this small time to do. That means, as soon as our next two minutes roll around, we're stopping the sit-up and we're going right back into our 16 seated strict press, alright? Um, Sit-ups are a good movement for most of us to slow down a little bit, give me a rep, take a breath, give me another rep to set yourself up if you know you're not going to be able to finish to get right into that next round. Cool. One eight, last... Eight and eight. Eight and eight. One last thing, if anyone really struggles with um, that seated strict press or has just a really heavy weight, you can make it a little bit easier on yourself by standing nice and tall, giving you that nice same strict press. Cool. If you really need to, if you're working with some like big Gorilla weights here. You can give me a small dip in the knees, dip and drive, and do a little bit of a push press. Cool. But if your weights are manageable, I think most people tend to have a little bit lighter weights. Well, you can see the strict press. It's one of my favorite movements, personally. Cool. So find the weight, find the floor. We'll go in like 30 seconds, 25 seconds. Fifteen seconds until we got our first set of seated presses. Probably a good time to have a seat on the ground. Ten seconds. Eight and eight coming up. My left side is weaker. I always like to start on that side. Three, two, one. Here we go. As soon as we start, check your belly button. Do you feel it relaxing behind you, or do you feel it pushing up and straight towards your toes? That's going to keep your torso vertical. Give yourself a nice, strong pressing position. Switching arms, I prefer your feet to be straight out close together. If you're struggling with a little bit of balance today, that's all right. Wipe yourself out and give yourself a little bit more of a balanced base to keep on pressing. Once you get through those, you're going to set up for that glute bridge, feet flat. I like to kind of pull my feet in a little bit, it helps me get in the right position. Really opening those hips up at the top. Lightly coming down, touching right back up. Getting up to 16. Ooh. 
Locking out that last inch, inch and a half, can be a little challenging. It can be easy to skip and not really do it. So really make sure every rep, fully opening up those hips before you come back down. Back into the sit-ups. Are you gonna get 32? Maybe, I don't know. Moving. Todd's gonna have to call out the times for this because when I'm sitting down where I am right now, I cannot see the clock. Well, we got about 30 seconds. Perfect. I'm Without not getting, getting, that was a lot of talking. I'm not getting 32. You might have had a chance. All right, we got about, I don't know, a little over 20 seconds to go. Trying to get as many sit-ups as you can. Back to about 15 seconds. And then we're going into the seated presses again. 10 seconds. All right, seated presses in five, three, two, one, right into it. Check, eight and eight. Check that belly button, you're gonna reset a million times, push it towards those feet. You're gonna learn with these seated strict press likely that your legs and your glutes, when you're standing up, help you keep a strong, solid core. So we're taking those away from you. You really have to focus on sitting straight up and tall, pressing overhead. Just about 30 seconds in. Going straight into those bridges. Nice job, open up those hips. You know what Coach Cole's gonna say. Say it anyways. Push your belly button towards your toes. You're oh, gonna hear me say it a lot today. I'm also like thinking I was about to talk about a belly button. What does he think I'm gonna say? Eight on one side, eight on the other. As we're getting through this, you're gonna notice that a strict press is going to fatigue differently than a push press specifically much faster. So, as you get into these later rounds, we're in round three, you got four, five, six. If you need to do four and four and four and four, I don't know about Coach School, but I'm okay with that. That's what you need to do so you can keep moving as opposed to just taking longer breaks to get all eight on one side. You got just over one minute to go for this round. Sixty seconds. Oh, you know those burn. Here we go, we get through this, we're halfway done with our strength portion. Just about 45 seconds. Just over 30 seconds. I've talked about this before on this channel. Uh, but if you know, I'll talk about it again. When I do my sit-ups, and I think everyone should do this, I want to breathe in on the way down, so I get a nice full breath on the floor, and breathe out on the way up. That is the most efficient way to breathe during your sit-ups. It gives you the most room for air. You can literally breathe in more oxygen. 10 seconds. I think everyone can agree, more oxygen is better. Well, there's a limit. Well, three, two, 
One, halfway, three rounds in, three rounds to go. Here we go, back to those trick presses. Belly button towards those toes. There it is. Again, you want to try to keep moving. So if you need to switch sides, now that you're a few rounds in, before you get through all eight, that's okay. Still try to get eight per side total before you advance. When would you not want more oxygen? You can have too much, you can hyperventilate. I guess so. So it's not always, but I am being very nifty with that. You know when you breathe in helium? Yes. And you like talk high? Well, one thing that would be funny if I breathed in a balloon when I was in a car and like went into a place and ordered ice cream, and I like remember breathing it in, running out the car, making it like through the doorway of the ice cream place, and then just <laughs> passing out. Because I fell in breath one million, that's all I remember. So we're waking up. Um, everybody around you. So don't hold your breath if you breathe in helium. Bless my heart, Matt. Then. 60 seconds in, less than 60 seconds to go. One time I was at home and we had those uh, aluminum metallic balloons. Okay, yeah. And so I just Ooh. cut the bottom off of it and mm -hmm. stuck it over my head to get like the full <laughs> helium experience. Um, it's terrible. It was very terrible. Uh, the next thing I I woke up. Yep. And my yep. stepbrother was there, like slapping me in the face. He's like, wake up, wake up. And he was like freaking out, and I passed out. So well, that's kind of dangerous because if you had passed out alone and the thing had been stuck on your head, oh, for sure I would have died. Would have died. I probably would have been trying to do it alone. I thought it was funny speaking in helium by yourself. I would do it. <laughs> Don't put it past me. You got 10 seconds left to go in this round, and then we got round five coming up. Yeah. Don't hold your breath with helium. Don't stick a helium balloon over your head trying to get to maximize. Don't stick any you know. non-breathable material over your head. <laughs> That's probably a good rule of thumb. Eight on one side, eight on the other side. You got this round and then one more. Yeah, we're fatiguing again. You need to switch sides. That's awesome. Really check for me that your belly button, your whole abs are pushed forward and you're tall. Super important to me. This is a core exercise, just as much as an upper body pressing exercise. All right, 90 seconds in, 30 seconds. To, sorry. 30 seconds in, 90 seconds to go. I took in too much helium there. <laughs> it's too much oxygen, I think. Almost at that one minute mark. Ooh. All right, 60 seconds in, 60 seconds to go. Start sitting up. Banging out some sit-ups here. Nice and steady. Good. Just sit up. Get through this round in about 30 seconds. We got our last round coming up. Then we'll take a break, get some water, catch our breath, talk about the conditioning part that's coming up. Good. Just over 15 seconds. Scooch it back. Last 10 seconds. Last round. We never caught this up there. Three, two, one. Here we go. Last time through. Last one, best one. Sit tall. Finish up the left side. Last time on that side. Let's get to the other side. Last eight reps here. We're gonna come up on our last set of our 16 glute bridges. I want you to do them as fast as you can and with some good squeezes in the butt. This is gonna sound stupid, think about when you're in the locker room or you're with your friends in a pool and someone just like snaps a towel on your butt and you're like, ow, that's how fast I want you to go. All right, super stupid cue, really useful. It's always worked for me when I tell someone that. Open those hips fast. I had no idea where that was going. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. That's where it went. If that helps you open your hips so fast, so just pretend someone's like giving you that little like rat tail towel thing that people used to do all the time. Maybe still do. 
60 seconds in, 60 seconds to go. <laughs> Finish up these glute bridges. Steps right on through. And then into those sit-ups. You have about 45 seconds until we finish up the strength portion here. Time to pick it up a little bit. Why not? Got a couple minutes of rest coming up. Todd showed us he can do 32. You can absolutely do all this in a round. Use those upper, that upper body momentum a little more. You can use those arms a little more. Help get you moving forward. If you want, you can press yourself off the ground in front of you, which helps speed it up a little bit. 15 seconds. 10 or seconds. If you're having a day like me, you can just sit on up, sit back down, hang up. Not hang out, but hang up. Three, Do your best for the day. Two, one. Made it. <coughs> nice job. Nice hang job. Out. Hanging out. Just hanging out in the back there. I do all the reps. <laughs> All right, so take a moment here, catch your breath, grab a drink of water, about a minute or so, we'll start talking about what the conditioning is. Um, this is going to be posting sometime at the end of February. If you're in the New York City area, if you're in New York, uh, we're going to be starting up boot kit classes, this exact same format, except in person, small groups, five people or less here in Chelsea. Um, so all the information is on our website if you're interested in joining. Uh, if you're not in New York or you don't have the budget, we still have these every week for you. But uh, if you want some of that dedicated one-on-one -on -one personal attention and coaching, you should check that out. You know what street it's on, Chelsea? Yeah, it's at, it's, 20, it's at 25th and 8th. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, 25th and 8th. So right, it's uh, right off of the uh, C. I don't make that. The 23rd C, it's right off of there. But I mean, Chelsea, it's real local. Locally central. Centrally local. I love Chelsea. Chelsea's around one day. One day. It's nice. I live there. It's expensive. But yeah, very central. That's why I don't live in Chelsea. A lot of families these days. Yeah, I'm fine with that. A lot of families, not. I don't a lot of people watch this if they've never been to New York, they're in here in Chelsea. They're like, oh, it's like the gay neighborhood. It's like not gay, mm, really. Not really. Not really. Not really. It's all Hell's Kitchen. If you want us to talk about the New York gay fitness scene, we'll do a thing on it sometime. <laughs> oh, it'll work out, not right now. We posted this in a different video. We'll talk about this and then we'll get the conditioning. But uh, we, we're, we're gonna be doing a live, a live stream in a couple weeks here. Um, we're gonna answer some, some fitness myths that we come up with on our own that we just hear a lot when we're coaching classes or doing private training. And then we're gonna answer whatever questions, fitness related questions that come up on the live chat. So um, if that's something you're interested in, leave us a comment just so we know. Uh, if you have a specific question that you actually would like to ask there or hear us talk about, you can leave that too. Um, and then that'll give us a little advance notice. Even if you don't make the live stream, it'll still be recorded, you can watch it later. With that being said, let's do some conditioning. Uh, we have an 18 minute AMRAP coming up, 18 minutes. So every minute, the clock's gonna beep and we're rotating through three different stations. Coach Wool's gonna demonstrate for us. The first station is going to be a combo of a snatch and a lunge. We're gonna do that 14 times. Coach Wool's, excuse me, Coach Wool's gonna demonstrate. Would you like these from the hang or the floor? Coach from the hang, hang, please. All right, yeah, hang snatch. So we got a hang snatch here. He's gonna hinge up the hips, uh, open up those hips. He's gonna finish with the dumbbell overhead, nice and locked out. And then he's going to step back into a lunge position with the leg that's under the weight. Great. Uh, and then he's going to return, let's do another one. So he's going to hinge at the hip, lock out, lunge back. If he wants, he can make it a little more um, fluid. Back there, let's do that one more time, a little more of that fluid. I love where he's doing a little bit of a press out as he's going down into that lunge. So we're going to do um, seven on one side, seven on the other side. After that, we're going to transition into 10 good mornings, holding the weight in front of us. So Coach Wool is going to hold it right, right over his chest. Uh, actually, can you turn 45 degrees? That's great, thank you. So this is a big hip hinge. So his feet are under his hips, off button the knees, weights in front of him. And then he's just gonna be pushing his butt back, butt back, butt back. Back stays nice and neutral when he wants to do a few. Oh, that thing. <laughs> uh, we'll swap out that weight during the commercial. Um, okay. We, we don't have commercials. Uh, so <laughs> we did. So um, he's just hinging, he's pushing his butt back, back, back. When he's ready to stand up, he's gonna squeeze his glutes and open up his hips. He's gonna do Somebody 10. Somebody snaps the towel. Right there when Ooh, somebody snaps the towel. It's useful, it works. 
He's selling them. He's selling them. Still not buying though. But you know what? We got another 18 minutes. After he gets done with 10 of those, um, he's going to now be doing some bent over rows. So he's going to pull that, that good morning position, pull the dumbbell or the kettlebell as high as he can into his chest, and then fully extend, and he's going to do that 10 times. Go ahead and put that down and take a break, please. This second round may only take you about 30 seconds. The first round is going to take you a lot of that minute. The third round we're going to talk about is going to take you most of that minute. So this one may only be about 30 seconds. Enjoy the rest that you get, because it will be the most rest that we get throughout this workout on any given minute. Third one's pretty straightforward. He's gonna do 14 burpees over the bell. So he's gonna drop, he's gonna get his chest down to the ground, he's gonna stand up, doesn't have to stand up the whole way, just high enough so he can hop over that dumbbell, chest on the ground. Every time your feet land on the other side of the bell, that counts as one rep. We're gonna do 14 of those. Go ahead oh, yes, yeah, thank you. We're gonna do 14 of those. You may not get through all 14. Um, maybe you only get through 12, maybe you only get through 10. Um, if you don't get through all of them, that's okay. Just try to work as much as you can through that minute and then start fresh with the next movement on the next minute. So you got about 30 seconds, maybe 45, I gotta reset the clock. First station, 14 snatches plus lunge. Second station, 10 good mornings, going into 10 bent over rows. Third station, 14 burpees over the, bar belt, or over the dumbbell or kettlebell, or as many as you can do in 60 seconds. Let me get this clock going. Do you wanna change your weight? No, I got it. During this commercial break? Got it. I liked commercials as a kid. I know it's weird, but commercials are fun. Although, did you um, like any of the Super Bowl commercials? I, I was the, uh, a straight ally for the day and did watch the Super Bowl, and um, I didn't really think that made them more funny. You don't need to be an ally. Peep. Queer people can enjoy sports and football, all that. That does not mean he's kidding about that. Please don't leave a comment about that. My, my favorite one was um, the Jeep one. First of all, I'm a big fan. Particularly, I can talk about this for a long time. All right, that's probably the best way to go. Ten seconds. The drink from State Farm is funny. That was funny. I like this little heart in his hair too. That was cute. Fourteen snatch plus lunge. Remember, whichever leg you snatch with, that's the leg that also is going back for the lunge. Okay. You're gonna try to do seven on one side, and then going ahead and switching. If you need to kind of break it up a little more, that's okay, but try not to. I just love how this movement feels. It feels so fluid and fun. And... Well, after all those glute bridges, my hips are ready for it. Snapping the towel. It's <laughs> trying. You gotta give him credit. All it has to do is work for one person. Or, yeah. There could be a hundred people in the room. Just one. Do you know it? Did you miss the meme? If you know the meme, comment below. I don't know the meme. Got it. 10 seconds. Still our 10 good mornings. In our 10 bed over rows. It's Lady Gaga. It's really funny. Yeah, so a coaching cue is just Three, a... two. Sorry. What? So we got our 10 good mornings, 10 rows. A coaching cue is just a, a short phrase that a coach uses to try to communicate quickly and efficiently what they're trying to correct with an athlete. So you're gonna hear a lot of coaching cues if you're in the fitness world. It's just that as long as the cue that the coach is giving makes sense to the athlete, it's a good cue. That's all that matters, that they understand. So if you've ever been snapped with a towel, you know what that means. <laughs> For these bent over rows, I'm misgrounding the net because I have about 22 seconds to talk here. When you're bent over, similar to on the floor, try and keep your belly button pressing towards your toes. Well, if you relax, you're gonna give us a little punch. If you press that belly button towards the floor, you're gonna set your back nice and strong. That is, what, Todd? A good cue. A good cue. Burpees over the bell in three. If it makes sense to you. Two, it makes sense to you. One, here we go. We're looking for 14. If we can, got the whole minute. I'm on five. I'm a bit behind. A little behind there. I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> All right. 
30 seconds in, you got actually more. You got 25 seconds to go. Here we go, coach. 14, woo! I like burpees. Round one is coming up on finish. We have, as I do math, all right, six rounds to go. Well, five rounds to go. As I do math, three. Snatch, lunge, Two. lunge. Here we go. Again, we're both kind of doing this dynamic movement where we're pretty much making one, the two movements one movement. If you need to snatch and then step back, that's okay. Don't feel like you need to speed it up. If it's a newer movement for you where you're not comfortable with it, you just move at your own pace. Eventually though, as you get more comfortable with individual movements, stringing them together in a seamless way becomes something that's not very challenging. You got 20 seconds to go. Now we're good. Got about 10 seconds. Then we have our good mornings in our rows. And four, three, two, and good morning. I'm gonna watch Todd do these for a second. Something common that I find with good mornings, not just around the around the block. Um, is that fitness? So uh, we're like, talking about fitness. So it's like to let our hips drop a little bit too low and pop those knees. This is really a hip back movement. Kind of reach for the wall behind you with your butt. If your hips are a little bit too low and lazy, if you push them up a little bit, reach farther back, you're gonna feel your hamstrings stretch out. That's the feeling I want us to feel for every rep in our good mornings. And when we're in our bent over rows, when tops are down there rowing. Feeling a lot of tension back here. That's helping to hang on. Stay nice and tight. We got 15 seconds. So in the burpee round two. Were you hoping that my, my form didn't look like that? No, I knew you were gonna look decent. Decent. All right, back at five. Okay. Three, two, round. Okay, so we got two rounds in. This is our third round. After we get through this, we're gonna be halfway done. So we gotta get through these burpees first. So. Whatever you're jumping over is becoming a challenge. If it's a little too high, come up. If that pillow you're using. <laughs> you say pillow. That, you said it. That pillow that you're using. No, I keep saying pillow. I like that. It's a little too high for you getting tripped up on it. You can always just jump behind whatever it is. So instead of me jumping over it, I can just jump right behind it. You don't have to jump quite as high, but I can still uh, stay pretty true to that movement. You've got about 15 seconds to go. <laughs> 10 seconds. Going back into those snacks, lunge, lunge. Five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, here we go. For these snatches, anytime that we're hinging at the hip, anytime that we're hinging at the hip, you're trying to think about keeping this arm glued to your stomach as long as possible. So you want to benefit from opening up the hips as much as possible and have that um, arm pop off of your stomach instead of just having it hang in front of here and then getting it up overhead. You got about 15 seconds before our next minute comes up. 10 seconds. Get yeah, those good mornings in. Find that nice handy stretch. Four. Three. Two. Here we go. Good mornings. Then good mornings. Five rounds to count. I'm on eight. Seven. Does that help? I don't think I'm on eight. I'll do it. And then you're going into your ten, ten rows. Alright. Thank you. 
Again with the burpees, say this all the time, this is something I tend to do a lot. Breathe either when you're stood up or when you're on the floor. Try not to take a big deep breath when your hands are on the ground here. Again with an oxygen thing, just less room for air. You want room to take a big breath in, open up that diaphragm. Three, two, one. Here we go. Mr. your time. Here we go. Get too much oxygen. Pass out. Outweigh roaches do a healing and work out. <laughs> this last 14 seconds is like both black out on the floor. Alright, you're about 30 seconds in, 30 seconds to go. Stay consistent. We are right now to right now. Nine minutes in. We got nine minutes to go. We're gonna start round four. That's insane. Fifteen seconds. Yeah, we're halfway. I said we were halfway about three minutes ago. I know. I let it go. Uh, thank you. Five. I don't know what I was saying. I was four, optimistic. Three, two. We are now halfway. Stay with us. Fifteen seconds in. Seven per arm. Snatch lunge combo. Right. Right about that halfway point. Twenty seconds off. Coach pace. He's in it to win it. I was in it for sit-ups. He's in it for burpees. Hmm. 30 seconds in, 30 seconds to go. Woo. Okay, you got about 15 seconds to go. We got four rounds now, two to go, and Todd's feet were halfway. Halfway to be done. Hang in there. Scratch the lunge, it's fine. Four, three, two, here we go. Some of us might be finding that we're starting with a snatch and then a lunge, now we're feeling a little bit more comfortable moving the weight. We're moving in towards a snatch as we step back, pinching out overhead. That'd be awesome today, if you work yourself up. Put these two movements together a little bit, a little bit more smooth. Okay, 30 seconds in, 30 to go. Uh. 
Good, 20, off. Getting somewhere today, but good more. All right, 10 seconds, good morning to Rose. When you stand up that good morning, squeeze your butt to sleep loop bridge. Two, one, here we are. 10 good mornings. After that, your 10 minute over rows. Thirty seconds in, thirty seconds to go. Oh yes. We did a video. We had some downtime, so we did a video of us reacting to some gym fail videos. Oh yes. So it's on the channel. Talking, we had downtime and just current time. Yeah. Who knew we could find some time in a pandemic? Okay, you're back at it in burpees. Three, Three two, two, one, down and over. All right, you get through these burpees, then you're into your last round. 14 burpees. Or as many as you can get in the 60 seconds before we go back to lunges. You're 30 seconds in, 30 seconds to go. <sighs> some of us like burpees, some of us don't. Some of us like bent over, bent over rows. I am very not strong bent over rows, so I'm glad I'm doing them today. Everyone's got strength weaknesses. Last round in five. Four, three, two, not too long, make it happen. Last time for, so about three years ago, maybe four years ago, add a year, because it's hard to do everything now. I was listening to a podcast, probably Barbell Shrunk, but I can't remember. Louis Smith Simmons was on it, and he gave some number, like you should be able to, good morning, 0.75 of your one rep max clean. Oh, it was a very high number. I will not be doing that tomorrow. So, you know, I heard it on a podcast, so I had to do it. Oh. So I spent the next six, nine months, once a week, heavy good mornings. I got into the low 200s for fives. I don't think I ever got to my one rep max, but I don't good morning more than like, you want a, you want a bad minute gold? Five. Felt like I had a back minute gold. Three, we'll build a little bit more of a back minute gold right now. Bend on the mornings. My back feels last time the opposite of made of gold this week. We're done with snatches and lunges. We got our good mornings and rows. 14 burpees. We're gonna get you out of here. Thirty seconds. That's twenty-five and ten burpees. I will challenge you. Comment if it's real. You can lie if you want. You know, that's no fun. I'm gonna do fourteen burpees as fast as I can. Over this bell. If you can beat me. Woo! Why not? Last minute, right? Last minute of the day. Why not? A friendly competition. Ten seconds. It's you versus the coach. You got five seconds. Three. Two, one, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, on fire. Six, seven, eight, oh yeah. Nine, 10, 11, we're 20 seconds in. 12, 13, 14, that took 26 seconds. I'll finish out here. Pause gonna finish this out for the day. About 30 seconds, how many is he gonna get? 
I didn't start counting for him, so I don't know what he's on. Five. Great. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, you got 12 seconds. 11. 12. 13. 14. And three. Two. One to spare. And rest it out. Oh, you're not so slow. Not if I try. Not if I try. Woo. Right before I got to talk. Hey, Brooklyn. Hi. Hi, baby. All right. Hopefully you beat Coach Bull. If not, you still did a great job. You made it to the end. So great work for that. Oh, come on. Come on. Um, hi. Hi. So, again, this is our 40 minute boot camp format. We have a 20 minute body weight one, as well as a 10 minute abs, abs, abs one. We upload new ones every week. So again, if you got this far, you're definitely into this. Hit that like button and then subscribe to the channel so you can get notifications. Uh, the apparel you see, outfit, t-shirts, workout shorts, that's all available online. So that's down in the description. If you want to drop a note to either Coach Cole or myself, you can find our Instagram accounts down there. Brooklyn as well, she has her own Instagram account. Like I said, we're going to be offering boot camp classes live Mondays here in Chelsea, New York. So if you're in New York and you want to join, you can find more information about that. With all that being said, we're going to get out of here. I'm Coach Todd. I'm Coach Cole. This is Brooklyn. Peace.